Okay, we've got just a few more minutes here. We need to finish up the lecture. Um, then we go ahead and open. Okay. All right. Emphasis on the experience of the Holy Spirit has influenced Christians and Christian theology seen in the evangelical movement and especially in the example of John Wesley. Wesley experienced his heart being warmed as he trusted Christ and received the assurance that God had forgiven his sins. Wesley came to appeal to a certain kind of experience, the experience of the Spirit's work in our lives converting, assuring, and transforming us. Many of us know the experience of the Spirit, but trying to produce such an experience uh, ourselves can become, a, can become a burden. Thus, we must emphasize that it is God's action, not our own. It is not up to us to produce a feeling, but it is a gift of grace given through the Holy Spirit. God uses our experience of his grace to shape our understanding of Scripture. Scripture also speaks of our heart, the center of ourselves, including our emotions, where God works in our lives. Let's look at practicing theology. The work of theology helps us mature in the faith as our knowledge is connected to maturity. As we grow in Christ, we try to make sense of our faith in order to live faithfully. As we speak truth in love, we grow. Theology equips us for faithful living. Because we have been taught the truth of Christ, our lives are forever changed. The medieval theologian Anselm of Canterbury described the theological task as faith seeking understanding. He desired to understand the implications of the faith clearly and logically. Theology begins in God and continues in our search to understand matters of faith. While these are unprovable, they are shown and become practical in our lives as we are transformed by God's good news. As we search for understanding, we become more faithful disciples of Jesus Christ. Or if we learn more about God, regardless of uh, and more about theology, regardless of our, our specific Christian commitment. So those of you that are not Christians, you, we still have plenty of things to learn. Uh, I'm going to give you this primary text from Psalm chapter 131, 1 through 2, just to give you uh, the kind of attitude that we should have in theology. Uh, so if you believe in God, you can pray this. But if not, it's just uh, wise to keep in mind that the need for humility as we study theology, not to get too prideful in the things we know. So, my heart is not proud, Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me, but I have calmed and quieted myself. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. Now for your attendance assignment this week, write one to two paragraphs, one page maximum. Um, what is one main idea you took from this week's lecture? All right, so this will be something you have to, to submit to me to get credit for attendance. And I'll probably ask this question every week. And if you want to do some extra credit, I've given you a second part of extra credit assignments, again, one or two paragraphs or one page maximum. Uh, with what attitude do you come to learn about God? If you believe in God, consider praying a prayer of humility uh, as you come to seek him better, uh, seek him and better know him. And two, finally, consider what you already know of God from whatever faith tradition you come from. 
or you come, or no tradition at all. Um, what have you learned previously from scripture, reason, tradition, and experience? It could be scripture besides the Christian Bible or whatever traditions um, and experiences that you have. Um, that's all valid as you think about this. You may wish to write out a key, a few key points. Even if you don't believe in God, you can write out a few key points uh, from your experience, reason, etc., of why you don't believe in God. And uh, think about those. All right, so submit those to me. And uh, I give typically give two points um, for the first part, which is the the um, attendance the typical attendance points for each week and then i'll give you up to typically up to three depending for the second part depending on how well you have answered i think you've answered the questions so you could can you yeah you can earn up to five points um uh, most weeks by uh, if you choose to do both of these and do a good job with them if you have any questions feel free to ask me by email i'll respond to you as soon as you can but please Send your assignment to me by email as soon as you can. I hope you enjoyed this first lecture. We'll see you next week. Take care.